Bitcoin is a great step forward, but it won't succeed as a currency. Whether you're new to crypto or already an expert, you're about to find a compelling and easy to understand case against Bitcoin. And to start, uh, here are four reasons why Bitcoin will fail. So first up, Bitcoin is inherently deflationary. Uh, second reason Bitcoin will fail, although it's decentralized, it has been re-centralized and this adds fees and security concerns. Uh, third reason, Bitcoin is volatile. That's widely stated and that hinders it from becoming a widely used currency. And the fourth reason Bitcoin will fail is that it wastes a lot of energy. Now, for more context, I'm not some Joe Schmo talking about crypto. Uh, about five years ago, I worked in Beijing with a, a alt cryptocurrency company, um, but I got out of the space for the reasons that I've mentioned. Um, but then briefly in 2017, I was sucked back into the crypto world. A project manager tasked me with sending out uh, $494,000 worth of Bitcoin to about 1,900 people. Um, but since then, I've stayed away from Bitcoin uh, and I've honed my knowledge in the financial space by finishing up the CFA exams. Uh, and I have a better understanding of how the economy works as well as monetary systems. One big flawed argument against Bitcoin is that it isn't worth anything. Although the same can be said for the US dollar and other ma major global currencies. Governments have taken them off the gold standard uh, I'll link to a unique article in the comments below about uh, currency um, and gold, I guess. But now they're only backed by trust, and that's further reinforced by the network effect. On top of that, modern government currencies are already digital. There are about $1.8 trillion uh, of Federal Reserve notes in circulation, um, and that's a big number, but it's a small piece of the total money pie. The official M2 money supply is at $15.4 trillion. Uh, this number includes cash, savings accounts, checking accounts, and positions in money market funds. Uh, and there's still a lot more to factor in when considering other um, financial tricks, uh, fractional reserve banking, etc. So the number of dollars in circulation is small in comparison um, to the dollars that actually exchange hands uh, in, in, a, in a digital sense. Um, you already live in a world that uses digital fiat currency. So the argument that Bitcoin isn't worth anything um, won't really work as an argument against Bitcoin. Uh, so now let's jump into those four flaws that I mentioned. Before getting to those, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap the like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel. All right, the first reason I mentioned that Bitcoin will fail as a currency is that it is inherently deflationary. Um, there's a reason the Federal Reserve shoots for low inflation. As the economy expands, so should the amount of dollars in the system. But if deflation kicks in, a single dollar would buy you more in the future. Now, that sounds great on the surface, but it pushes people to avoid spending today knowing they can buy more later. And this can lead to a vicious cycle of decreasing prices and wages. If businesses aren't pulling in more money, they can't pay higher wages. Um, so deflation is bad. Uh, and it just so happens Bitcoin is deflationary. Uh, there's a finite amount of Bitcoin that will ever be uh, available. I believe it's about 21, 21 million Bitcoin. Uh, but on top of this, there's added deflationary pressure. Uh, people lose access to their Bitcoin wallets and those Bitcoins, although people can see every transaction throughout the past in the public ledger, uh, people no longer have access to those Bitcoin and they can't be used for transactions. So that's added deflationary uh, pressure to Bitcoin. Those, those lost coins are essentially out of circulation. Now, the second reason. Bitcoin, although decentralized, has been recentralized. Um, there's no centralized body setting new rules, um, and everyone knows the rules and has to abide by them. But to make Bitcoin easier to use, third-party exchanges have popped up. As a result, fees have climbed and so have security issues. Uh, Bitcoin fees. It costs a pretty penny to convert Viet money to Bitcoin. That makes sense with the volatility, which I'll explain uh, later and regulatory constraints, but it also costs to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another. 
When I sent out close to half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin, it cost thousands of dollars in fees. Now, Bitcoin miners uh, and exchanges are improving the network, but they're also taking their cut. This makes Bitcoin less cost effective for transferring money. Security. Uh, the Bitcoin blockchain is extremely secure, but to leverage it, humans have to interact with it, and we all make mistakes. The transactions are irreversible, unless all parties agree otherwise. Um, and as exchanges have popped up, so have more flaws in security. Uh, there's room for more errors and other vulner vulnerabilities like social hacking. For example, Mt. Gox and other exchanges have gone belly up. They've lost their users well over $400 million worth of Bitcoin. Now, the third reason Bitcoin will fail as a currency, it is volatile. Uh, holding on to Bitcoin is a roller coaster ride. It's up 10% one month, down 20% the next. This makes it hard for retailers to accept it as payment. Now, they can try and hedge the volatility, but it cuts into their profits. This is a common stated reason why Bitcoin will fail as a currency. Bitcoin volatility is an issue other cryptocurrencies have tried to solve. Stablecoin projects like Basis have looked promising. Uh, it would have used auctions um, with bond offerings uh, to adjust Basis supply and keep pricing in check. Although the project never launched due to regulatory concerns. Now, one of the best stablecoin projects uh, that I've seen is Libra, backed by Facebook. Uh, it has proposed using a basket of currencies to keep its price stable, but many regulators around the world are putting pressure on Libra. Still, it's one of the most promising projects, crypto projects going into 2020 and beyond. Now, the fourth reason Bitcoin will fail as a currency is that it wastes energy. To verify transactions on the public ledger, Bitcoin miners are fighting to solve increasingly complex problems, although it's using major amounts of energy that could be put to better use. Most estimates for total Bitcoin energy consumption in 2018 are above two gigawatts. And to put that in perspective, one gigawatt is roughly enough to power 700,000 homes for a year. Uh, this energy drain from Bitcoin is unnecessary. Cryptocurrencies can use proof of stake and other techniques to verify the ledger. Or at the very least, instead of solving in largely increasingly complex arbitrary problems, it can be put to better use. We can put all that grid computing power towards protein folding research, weather mapping, and other intensive computing projects to benefit humanity. Although I've given you four clear reasons why Bitcoin will fail as a currency, uh, there's still a sliver of hope. If enough miners on the network agree, they can fork the code. They can find solutions to these problems and create new rules for the Bitcoin blockchain going forward. This happened in 2017 with the Bitcoin Cash fork. Uh, some miners decided to split and support new blockchain rules, but this split polarized some participants and weakened the network. As a result, I don't have high hopes for future Bitcoin forks. Instead, I'm more bullish on the technology that made Bitcoin possible, or a group of technologies that made Bitcoin possible. It's paved the way for new blockchain investment. At first, big institutions and financial minds were pushing back against Bitcoin. Uh, in 2017, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan, um, called it fraud and worse than tulip bubbles. Uh, but. But is it the owner of the horse farm who says automobiles are the future? Not long after uh, Jamie Dimon's co negative comments about Bitcoin, he did some backtracking. Since JP Morgan has come out with their own um, cryptocurrency and other firms are following suit. Uh, International Data Corp forecasts worldwide blockchain spending to reach $2.9 uh, billion at the end of this year. And that's up uh, close to 89% from last year. Overall, Bitcoin will likely fail as a currency, but it's leading to some really unique uh, and useful innovation. Um, I'm looking forward to the future of currency. Now, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a comment below. I read every one. Uh, and on top of that, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next time.